in order to show the validation messages into the form. So let me ask you this question. We have so far created four components, publish add user form, updated add user form validator, enable user submit and disable user submit. So which is the correct component where I can write the code to display the message in the UI? Yes, you are correct. So we should be working on enable user submit and disable user submit component in order to show the validation message. The reason enable user submit and disable user submit components are the abstractions over the DOM element. Therefore, anytime we are going to change the DOM, they are the component who are responsible for changing the DOM element. Suppose validation failed, then disable user submit component will have access to the DOM. It will disable the submit button and it will also show the message into the UI. So another use case when validation message is passed, then enable user submit component will go ahead and enable the submit button and it will also display the message. So this way you adhere to the abstraction rule and you say that this is the component who is going to talk to the DOM. Validator is not going to talk to the DOM. Validator job is to just publish the message saying that validation pass or fail. You could also say that disable user submit button should do just one job and just disable the submit button and it should not write the validation message. That is perfectly fine. You can also create an independent component who can just listen the invalid message and display the message into the DOM. That is perfectly fine. So let me ask you the question, where should you write the code to show the messages into the DOM? So we have so far created four autonomous components. Like you can see publish add user form updated, add user form validator, enable user submit and disable user submit. Think of it and reply to me that which is the correct component where you can write the code for displaying the message into the UI. Yes, you are correct. So in order to know that, first we have to understand what are we trying to do here. We are going to create an autonomous component for doing each and every work. As per my definition, autonomous component is a simple function which does only and only one task. Second, it always deals with the maximum two resources. For example, if you are writing a function, then it can deal with either store or it can deal with the DOM. It cannot deal with DOM and store and also it cannot deal with messaging service and other things like any web service call or anything like Ajax call or something like that. At a time, it can deal with two things. Either it will make an Ajax call and talk with DOM, that's it. Or it can make an Ajax call or talk with the messaging service. So these are the resources that you are dealing with. Messaging service, DOM, Ajax, that is the HTTP call. So these are our resources. So one component should just talk with the two resources. That is we are going to follow. For example, some of our components like Publish add user form updated component. It is reading the data from the UI and publishing a message. Therefore, it is dealing with two resources. One is the DOM, another is the messaging service. Next, we have created an add user form validator. It is reading the data from the message service and doing some validation and then publishing a message again to the messaging service. So therefore, it is dealing with only one resource called as messaging service which is also good. Next, we have created an enable submit component. It is also dealing with DOM and then it is dealing with messaging service. So it subscribes a message and it manipulates the DOM. Another one, disable user submit. This is also dealing with the two resources. One is DOM and one is messaging service. So now you know the components, what they are doing. Let me ask you this question, which is the correct component where I should write a line of code, which will basically display the message into the UI then obvious thoughts will come in your mind that disable user submit and enable user submit components could be the correct component where I can manipulate the DOM to show the messages because they are already manipulating the DOM and they are already listening to the messages. They are the good components to display the message also into the UI. That is the obvious thought. However, if you think very carefully, then if one component is dealing with two resources, yes, that is correct. However, it is violating the another rule of autonomous component that we have just mentioned like autonomous component is a function we should do only one task maximum it is trying to do just one task it does not do many tasks like it, it cannot just say i am enabling the button as well as i am going to show the message it's doing more than one task the name says enable submit button so it should just do enabling submit button that's it so now let's think of it more that what should we do therefore i think 
we should create an independent component which should be responsible for displaying the messages into the UI. So we can go ahead and create an alerts module. So we will create an alerts module. The job of the alerts module is to display the alerts into the UI. I am calling it alert. You can call it anything else you want to call it. But basically the job of this component would be is to display the messages into the UI. Like this in our website, we are displaying the messages into the UI. So this messages, I can call them alerts. If it is an error message, it will be in a red color. And if it is a good message, successful message, then it will be a green color. And if it is an information message, then it will be a blue color. Suppose if I delete this, then it will be a blue color information message as a warning message kind of thing. So we will be using a bootstrap to do that bootstrap alerts. And in order to show into the UI, we'll also create a module called as alerts module and we will code over there to display the messages over the UI. So let's go ahead and do that next to write the alerts module.